I told Anyways, you why I couldn't. Let's start. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> all right. We'll hit we'll hit play on one. All right. Yep. On one? Yep. Not shoot. Not shoot. On one. All right. Oh. All right. Three, two, one. There's no audio at the beginning of this, so if you don't hear anything, that's fine. I think it's working. Everybody get a good, good comparison. On October 13, 2008. What is that? <laughs> this film is a rough cut version of that material. So it was saying that, I can't remember what it was, but it was something that they were... A uh, team of investigators spent more than a year trying to establish whether this was practical joke or Jesus Christ, how fast do Norwegian right. read <laughs> English? I did, I did not get a chance to read the oh, first one. All right, speakers, <laughs> chill out there. All right, so here we are watching Troll Hunter. So I've never seen this, but both of you have. Yeah, it was. Uh, when this come out? 2010. 2010 10, yeah that sounds right because i know i was in college and me and my buddy used to purposely find the worst sounding my roommate not just my buddy but find the worst sounding movies on netflix and we're like troll hunter there's no way and so then we watched it and then obviously you'll get to watch the rest of it but <laughs> that's where it came from and i think i requested it to quinn or yeah you told me about this it. movie We're gonna have to in pay some, more attention to this movie because it's yeah, you gotta like a, yeah, it's in subtitles, <laughs> so you gotta read it. These and it's some, not even a romantic language; like it's not Spanish where you can pick and pull like <laughs> words from. So these they're bear hunting right now. Yes. Yes. Bear hunters. They look like a bunch of classy fellows. It's a good thing that both Quinn and I have seen this, so we already know the general premise and what to expect. Otherwise, this would be like whatever it is, an hour and forty minutes, but however long it is, of just like. Trying to read how, subtitles, how trying to talk you, about what the subtitles say. Since, how yeah. long has it been since you've seen this, Bo? I think I made Maria watch it when we first started dating, so probably like five, five-ish years ago, I want to say. I say it's been three for me. So it's a bunch of these university kids, and they start documenting stuff, and then it gets deeper and deeper into some weirdness. Yeah, they're like trying to make a movie or a film because they're film students about like, I don't even- Illegal I bear hunting, movie. I think. Illegal right. bear hunt, poaching. But they're looking for one specific guy who's a poacher, that Hans uh, guy that they were just yeah. talking about now. Okay. And they were saying they found this footage. They thought it was a joke. They didn't find any survivors. And they thought it was a joke, but they ruled that nothing on this video is uh, fake. It's all real. Oh, yeah. Doing the whole yeah, like classic Fargo, Fargo thing. Yeah, classic found true found events. footage. Uh, not really. Well, so classic guess, found what, what, footage movie. Blair Witch. What would you – maybe you guys just said it because I was just trying to think of it, and I can't think and listen at the same time. And I also can't read, think, and listen at the same time. So <laughs> yeah, we got maybe, three different things going on yeah. here. So – is there a term for like this? Like, you know, it's Cloverfield is sort of the same way where it's yeah, like it's found, not a doc found footage. Yes, lost. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay. Just like a news crew here. You got the fancy microphone and everything. I will say if a movie is done in a foreign country, it should always be subtitles. Anytime they try to dub it or they have you know, people speaking English who are clearly not English speakers, it just takes me out of the movie. I like can't those Jackie it. Chan movies that we watched? Yeah, I think we just... talked about that during <laughs> Legend of the Drunken Master. I, I felt that. kind of, I kind of felt like a dick when I said it, but uh, <laughs> I felt like one of those moments was like, this is America. If you're going to release a movie in America, make sure it's yeah. American. Exactly what I was going to say. Like, this is America. Speak American. Or just do subtitles because I'm okay yeah. with reading. Subtitles. I mean, I gotta go. read during mean, my It's movies, more American Quinn? to do it without subtitles and to do dubbing because fuck reading. This is America. Is this so Soviet this Russia? I gotta read during my movies. <laughs> 
So the guy that was just like kind of dismissing them, I don't know if you called it Matt is. Yeah, that's uh, the guy they've been looking for, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. Did you see when they went up to his camper, he had lights and he had a bunch of yeah. garlic and stuff around his camper? Yeah. All the claw marks in his truck. Mm-hmm. I think I'm a second ahead of you guys. Uh, right, well, no, right now they're looking at his trailer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they sound bited it. Say so he just popped Bugged out it. of his trailer. So that's right where I'm at. Yeah. I think we're timed up pretty good. This is a great commercial for Land Rover or Range Rover. Range what is Rover. It? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Range Rover. I really like found footage movies, but it's so overdone with super cheap horror movies that they kind of ruins the genre. It, de- it depends on how they do it too, because I hate close up shaky cam stuff when like you, when you're trying to see everything. Mm-hmm. I feel like because of paranormal activity, every freaking cheap movie tries to do it. Yeah, it's supposed to uh, like normalize it in some horror mm-hmm. sense, but Blair Witch kind of had that. Well, Blair Witch is probably like the original. Yeah, that'd be a I'll... curious like first found footage movie. Oh, that's. I'm trying to determine how realistic this bear is right now. Uh, that's not bad. It didn't look bad. I was about, I was like used to the last couple of movies we've seen. Was about to make fun <laughs> of a fake looking bear, but that wasn't that bad. It did have four legs. Yes, it got <laughs> it the number of legs start. right. I mean, the fur didn't look like a foe. So I think these are registered bear hunters. Yeah, that's what it seemed. There, the other guy was a poacher, but this guy or the rest of these people seem more legit. I do kind of oh, like guy, this. This guy's important. This guy is. Yeah. Yeah. So if you didn't catch it, they were talking about how the bear tracks didn't look like bear tracks. That one guy was saying okay. to the interviewer. And the interview is like, I don't know what you're talking about. They look like bear tracks. He was the head of the Wildlife Commission or something in Norway. Okay. He had like an official government title. This guy has to know that these kids are following him. (laughs) Dude, I don't... I mean, Norway looks beautiful. All of Scandinavia looks super beautiful, but... I just feel like you get the random photo shot where it is sunny like a couple What's days the, a year and the other time it's just gray. And I could be It's totally like the Northwest. Man. I say it's, it's the Pacific rain. Northwest where it's just rain all the time. I heard their summer is awesome in July. <laughs> their summer's awesome one month. One, one month. <laughs> Even in Wisconsin we at least get three good months. I had friends who were from Oslo and uh, when I was in Australia, and they actually came and visited us, two girls. And they said, yeah, it it's, doesn't get really cold there in Oslo because it's right on the ocean, but it's pretty dark and dreary. So it's probably around. just like Seattle. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> like the anything on the coast in the northwest. Alaska was like that too, like Juneau and, and Anchorage and stuff. They don't get really cold, but it's not really hot. It's just kind of sure. cold and dreary most of the time. But everything's green. Yeah. At least it's safe. I do like how this movie just jumps straight into like... Oh, there's no know. setup? It's just yeah, it's right, right into the... Uh, it's right into figuring out where this is kind of going to go. You don't know where it's going to go, but like they're automatically chasing the dude that they're looking for. It's not like they spent three quarters of the movie it's not like they're at the college like oh what are we gonna do for our project oh hey should we work together right just hide here with the giant camera (laughs) (laughs) and the boom mic 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a boom mic like, peeking over. Subtle. Everything. Very subtle. <laughs> what a conversation a starter. <laughs> like a couple days ago, we've been stalking you since. Yeah. Oh, shit. He spotted her. She's doing a terrible job of hiding. Let's go be investigative reporters. This looks like fun. Yeah, right? Looks like way more fun than just riding around in my lawn or cutting grass. You just get to <laughs> document whatever you're doing. Maybe catch a hot sound bite. Do you think Michael Moore gave up after the first try? There you go. <laughs> Love how they're just still following them. Like, yeah, I mean, it's relentless. Whatever. Persistence pays I off in like, the end. Yeah, I feel like journalism is probably somewhat similar to sales. It's like you have to be annoying to be successful. Oh, yeah. You just keep pushing it. Uh oh. Someone's sound is coming through real hot on the mic all of a sudden. Is it. Like from the like the movie, the TV, or someone. I think the TV is coming through really loud on somebody's microphone. Not anymore, all of a sudden. Okay. I just turned mine down. Might have mine. I thought it might have been Matt's for a second because he was the person staying on the screen, like producing. Yeah, like it, it lights. Yeah, it'll highlight who's talking right. in front of us. Oh man, they do get into it quick. Yeah, in case you didn't know what this movie might be about, it might be about hunting trolls. <laughs> <laughs> they could have been they so have called with the name. troll hunter. If they didn't, yeah, they didn't call it troll hunter. They just called it like bear. If they even called bear hunter, you'd still be right. like, what is going on? How is this so intense about a dude who hunts bears? Just, I don't think she's carrying a boom mic with her the entire time. <laughs> just if you run into so essentially, if you run into Indiana, <laughs> your ass is, is that a, is that a shout out to uh, Deliverance? Uh, uh, yeah, never seen it, but that's what I was going for. <laughs> that's in West Virginia, by the way. I was going to say West Virginia first, but I feel like West Virginia is too easy. I just Indiana's right in that hot spot of yeah. like forgotten state of disappointment. Yeah. Got to get the Midwest you charm part of Indiana. On the I was in. It's like the most high class white people ever. Yeah, in north. Yeah, northwest part, right across from Chicago, where they all work in Chicago. No, 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 Indianapolis area where I was. Oh, Indianapolis, okay. White's town. There's always got like, there's always got to be a town, the suburb around every major city that everybody's like, we're just gonna congregate in here, and then everybody it's else exactly what it for is. themselves. It's exactly what it is. I wish that they do a really good job of this camera work. It's not shaky. You can you really do see. I want to see some trolls. Well, Matt, we're only like. Five minutes into this sucker. It's give pounds. me the trolls. I want the trolls. Oh, shit. How much would you be shitting your pants right now? I would be. There would be no shit left. Have you ever heard, seen that video that kind of went viral? I think last, maybe it was even just last year, of like in Texas, they were talking about what are these screams? And it was the most deafening 
I feel like that's he a just yells that's troll. troll. <laughs> Runs up to the camera and yells troll. troll All right. I would be so confused right now if this random dude came. Not random, you've been following him, but he just yells troll and starts running. I will say this is yeah, it, found footage does make things pretty intense. Like, <laughs> this is it? I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You're gonna yell <laughs> troll, right? <laughs> This dude's fucking crazy. <laughs> and it's like not a whole lot you can mistake that word for. Like no, I guess it's, maybe different in Nor like Norwegian, but like troll in English, like did you say bull? Did he say yeah. <laughs> roll? <laughs> what bit him? A troll got that close to him and bit him? Tetanus shot. <laughs> yeah, little known fact, you need a tetanus shot after you're done being bit by a troll because they have uh, nails as teeth. Here's Rusty more. Nails. Here's more duct tape. What were we Shut watching? <laughs> what were we watching before, where duct tape just solves everything? Oh, there was something. Yeah, because we were talking about duct tape and WD forty. Oh, it, being... it was Rumble in the Bronx. Because remember, he, he pops the the hovercraft, and then oh, they yes. just duct tape it back together. <laughs> yes, as if there's not enough air pressure in those things yeah. to just blow out duct tape. That's right. <laughs> So you get bit by a troll, same thing. He's duct tape. Well, he's more patching up his jacket. Oh, okay. That's fair. Oh. So yeah, that jacket I, looks great. Before, <laughs> before I ever really saw this movie, I was under the assumption trolls were like the trolls from Monty Python on the Holy Grail. Like they were just like, or just from what I imagine of just being short, tiny little guys. Yeah. Apparently, this, over this cars. is really this all this <laughs> stuff that they do, like the goo and everything. The lore of this movie is based on like the Scandinavian lore of trolls. So this is historically accurate. Is well, I wouldn't say historically me. accurate. It'd be like us doing stuff with I don't know uh, what's mythical about America. Chupacabra, not a lot. <laughs> Chupacabra or Bigfoot or I don't know. We don't have anything cool in America. No, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, we have football. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Maybe we'll have, have that this year. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, they're in a rush to figure this out. It's like, wait a minute. You guys didn't have this all figured out before. We got to report to training camp in a couple <laughs> weeks. What's the plan? Oh, you didn't have one? <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're just ignoring that. <laughs> So did you see that, Matt? I didn't see it. I was, I was kind of paying attention. What happened? He, I just thought he stopped. Like he keeps asking saying, him, like, yes, why, why did you yell you troll? Why are you so sure it was it was a bear that attacked you? Oh, okay. So like now he's starting to give away and hint at the fact more than other than just screaming troll. I was saying, I think he, <laughs> he gave it away with just yelling that. <laughs> This is one of those movies too, where you find out where this guy's job, what this guy's job is, and what he does. How he just lives such a like average, below average life. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, this is what you're doing. Nobody I like else how does they it. build this into a life world choices. too. It's like this small guy's role in it, but there's he's how it yeah. builds into the whole. It makes it believable. Like this could really be going on behind the scenes in a way 
in a way. Well, I mean, they tie it in with the government and stuff. Right. Too. No, right. No, it does make sense in that way. It, yeah. Just less than the, like, you know, physical ability for these things to hide from anybody. <laughs> well, they, don't they explain it? I think they explain, like, why you don't see them and why okay, he always goes gonna, out at night. I was going to – I didn't want to bring it up because I don't want to give too much away because I haven't seen it. But I was going to be like, like, in this world still – like, how come no one else has found trolls if it's kind of easy for this guy to find them? I think they do explain it. So did you see that interesting thing? I forgot that plays into something. Uh, I just, he said, like, don't look at me or something like that. No, no, so no, he no. asked, does any of you guys believe in God or Jesus? And they oh, said, okay. no, not really. And they say, he said, because these can smell the blood of Christians. I did see the blood of Christians part. Okay. That's that's interesting. I can smell you based on your faith. You know, if a landmine. If you had to describe this movie through words, you know, like nobody else was watching it while listening to this, they'd be like, "This is fucking horrible." <laughs> <laughs> Just like they smell the blood of Christians. Doesn't that Christian thing come back into play later? It does. That's why I said yeah, I we like should pay attention. Make sure, to it. point it out. Yeah. Especially your armpits and groin. Again, just playing into the Christian theme, just making people undress in unwilling situations. Like, Sorry, you got to take off your clothes. <laughs> Just rub this troll piss all over you. <laughs> this is for college, like for a college class or something? Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, I think that's what it said in the beginning during those really quick... Yeah. Things that there were, yeah, statements they were showing that it was for film class in college. I think if a guy looking like him asked me to rub essentially troll piss all over me in the middle of the woods in the middle of the night, I'd be like, <laughs> all, all right, like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get an F in this class. I, I'll, I'll try to even my grade out with other projects. <laughs> After claiming trolls are re real <laughs> yeah. and making sure that you're not like, a believer in God. <laughs> yeah. Good. They can smell the blood of Christians. All right. Did you see after he told them to rub it, they're just greased up all yeah. over it. Like at this point, I'm just worried about getting murdered. He's got a big scar across his cheek. Okay, they're rocking the sunlight, turns them to stone. Part of the uh, thing. That ties into the Hobbit. I would say that's the Lord of the Rings, or Hobbit thing. Here you sure. go. Here's a little bit of lore. Duct tape. <laughs> Could have used some duct tape on that golf cart over this past weekend, Quinn. Yeah, that looked ridiculous or sounded ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a golf cart tip into a bunker in person until it this wasn't past great. weekend. It wasn't, it wasn't good. I'm glad he didn't break his leg. Yeah, that was the first thing I was worried about. Glad we were able to get that thing out of the bunker. I was gonna ask how that went trying to get that thing out. Yeah, that was better than better than expected. Yeah. There's only been one time I've almost tipped a golf cart and it was like forty five and raining at Ironwood out in Heartland out here. It's super hilly. 
and I was trying to hit the brakes because I was going over the top of a hill and yeah. spotted my buddy's ball, hit the brakes, and just, yeah, started spinning. Yeah, yeah. And then literally landed two feet short of the stone bank of a, the outer ring to a pond. <laughs> I was going straight in the pond otherwise. That would have been amazing. That's, wor- that's worse than a bunker. <laughs> yes, that is <laughs> – that's a Even lot. The bunker was like a five foot drop. I would say it was a big edge. drop. It was like on really? top of a hill and yeah. it fell down. Yeah, it was. It was one of those GPS carts. So it was in the rough. So it was going slow because you're not supposed to be in there. And then it kicked in right on the edge. Yeah, that was, that was rough. It ran the rest of the time. The windshield on the front came off. So and they didn't kind of care. Hold that. They didn't care. Yeah, they're really? like, it happens more often than you think. It probably okay, does. Okay. I forgot about this. This is like. Yeah, he said he was going to draw out the troll for them. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I think I think that's Quinn's TV that gets really loud. Stupid surround sound. Yeah, stupid high quality <laughs> sound from my TV. We paid way too much money for this really awesome system. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I would have had a night vision camera in college for my like video classes. Platteville doesn't have the Mine's budget. All the way down. Just a casual full movie setup for your. Yeah, could have. I made a made a movie in college. I could have used some night vision scenes for it. Did you see the light flashing in the background? Yeah. I have mine all the way down now. Dude. You're good. Are we sure it's not tremors yet? Sounds like a tremor. <laughs> for so it's for the grab ons. Here comes Kevin Bacon. Last uh for the last podcast that Haley and I did, which we recorded it last night. Uh our top five was favorite movies with one word titles. And I didn't put tremors in there, but I'm like I gave it an honorable mention. I'm like, I mean, this is a classic. <laughs> Dude, it's so good <laughs> for being such a B-rated, terrible movie. It's so entertaining. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see if the the graphics hold that's, up. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm like, I know I'm going to see Trolls. I want the... If I remember Netflix. correctly, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Like it's. It's good at considering the budget. Good. So the key, the key is you do scenes like this where it's at night, so you don't see it that well. You know what I mean? True. Well, you just wait till the end. Unlike. It's a toss a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they have troll names. No longer, it's a species at this point. Oh, They're like here we go. Species. Here you go. Here comes a troll. Oh, it's got multiple heads. They 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 over designed the shit out of this. They gave it three heads. But yeah, like this is good for like the budget. Like yeah, oh, yeah. shadows, dark, can't see that much. We get, like we get the point. That's good. You still get a good view of the troll though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they definitely like you know they automatically turn the camera away and start running from the troll because they're like, yeah. all right, we're going to show you for this amount of time. <laughs> well, it's a budget, bro. <laughs> you can't be breaking that budget with a three-second troll shot. You can't use it all in the tunderlun. <laughs> yeah, not the tosser lad. Tosser lad. I always love it when this happens where someone trips and falls and the camera is. Perfectly, oh, class, classic yeah, footage pointing shot. at them. <laughs> I 
the only good thing about these trolls is if they are really like trying to sneak up on you, I have a feeling that they wouldn't be very good at it, considering the fact that they're like four stories tall. <laughs> yeah, you'd hear some trees falling yeah. behind you. You'd at least know which general direction they're coming from. I do like the sound design. Go. The sound the design vision. in this movie is really cool. Why would you run the same way as the troll? He's kind of he running Maria. away-ish. What was that? Is Maria watching it now? She's standing out here eating. So she's already watched it. I've seen it. How much, did, like, how much did she like it? I honestly think I liked it. When, or I was just trying to please you because we just started dating. Yeah, I could have been too. <laughs> trying to impress him. <laughs> Got yeah, impressed by I'm surprised you didn't walk out right then. Like, God, this guy's a fucking weirdo. He's watching troll <laughs> like movies. These, like, these, like, these students here. Like, <laughs> these students here are like, oh, this guy's telling me trolls are real and he's telling me to put this troll piss on me and not run in the opposite direction. That's the equivalent <laughs> to Mar Maria going, I'm going to watch this troll hunter movie with Bo and not running in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> the first 10 minutes do kind of feel like they're going to be a it's going to be like a fetish film <laughs> <laughs> are you christian no good now yeah, rub good. this all now rub it now rub the lotion on the skin <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's how every good fetish film starts are you christian now rub yourself with piss yeah, yep <laughs> yeah exactly take all your clothes off and rub yourself with piss yep <laughs> Troll boners is what this should have been called. I mean, they put in good. I feel like for I don't know what the budget of the movie was. I got I'm it. Not a big research know. guy, but I feel like they at least in this movie made well with the budget they had. It's oh. very believable. Yeah, like it. It doesn't look it. It doesn't look terrible. It's above sci-fi level, like Sharknado graphics. It's either oh, right. like on par with it or a little better, but they just don't do as much. Like it isn't a million sharks getting thrown at you. It's just one troll. I also think that this movie did it. I mean, I keep saying all this stuff because I'm going to like spoiling it. Like, obviously, you already know my opinion about it, but like they definitely like came up with the concept where we've debated about every movie. It feels like did they take themselves serious or were they joking? And like some have hit the seriousness or the joking or both at the same time or not at all. They like turn this ridiculous concept into like actually being stressful at times and serious. Oh, the first time I watched this, I was, it's intense. Like, yeah. if you watch this alone with the lights off by yourself, it's pretty intense. Say, my, my it's big on. UV lights. Dude, this is every Jeep Rubicon's owner's dream. It's just having these massive UV lights that just freeze. Did, has, trolls Justin to seen stone. This, has Justin seen this truck yet? <laughs> yeah, right. He could play volleyball all night with that. <laughs> yes, exactly. I almost died. <laughs> he does not seem impressed. <laughs> well, it explains why he takes these people under his wing. Obviously, one of you believes in God. <laughs> Typical troll. This is some anti-church propaganda here. I like it. Dude, isn't Norway one of the most like atheist countries in the world? I'm pretty sure they're way up there. Do you know who told me that actually? No joke, I remember this. Is it wasn't Marin, but it was her friend that was also from Norway in Platteville when I visited you guys. I don't remember uh, Marin being sober really that much. <laughs> no, I don't. She wasn't. She wasn't. It was her friend. <laughs> yeah. oh, here you go, the government. Oh, 
better than shitty job. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Troll management. Find that on LinkedIn. Yeah. How much does that pay? Is that a glass door? Can I get an average salary for that job, please? Well, you get enough to buy a extended off-roading vehicle with a pull behind RV trailer. <laughs> yeah. Really is that a RV. company car? Do I get that like <laughs> expensed out, please? Is gas paid for? <laughs> yeah. That broke really easily. It's a very hollow stone. Bitch ass troll. It's just a troggle door. And then he has, a, has to use a jackhammer like for the rest of it. It's not like it's a ringle witch or something. Okay, Quinn. You're just saying words right now. <laughs> no, those two they've actually said in the movie at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Oh, it's that guy from earlier, right? Yep. I really like how they tie it into the bigger picture in this movie. Wildlife board. <laughs> this is a really random question. Do people in Europe wear wedding ring on the opposite hand? What is your opposite hand? Your right hand? Your right hand. I don't That's know. opposite? Well, you're not your left hand. Okay. The opposite so like, of the me, hand. You wear it on your left hand. Yeah. Everybody here okay. does. Well, I know like Maria said that her being like 100% Greek, like descendant of Greek grandparents, she said that normally, so her, and, I forgot which one, is, I should just ask her, but She's supposed to wear her wedding ring on the opposite hand that she's wearing it right now. And I don't know which hand her engagement ring is on or it's vice versa. This is important, Bo. Sorry. No, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm paying attention to both. They, there's no subtitles for this. So, um, but I just, I only ask because we watched the, the pianist for our last podcast, Haley and I did. So, like, obviously that takes place in... Did Poland. he wear it on the right hand in that? Yeah, and everyone who was married had it on their right hand. Which, oh, like... No joke. Took me five seconds to realize you said the pianist. And I was Penis. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like... The piano it's another, player. It's another fetish movie, Bo. Yeah. <laughs> I see Bo what this is about. The pe- pe- you just said this in your sick world. Ringle Finch. I told you that was a word. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So you get what's going on, Matt, in this? Well, I just saw them that there weren't any subtitles till they said wriggle or they're whatever, not but they brought the bear out there and they're making fake tracks, I guess, to make an excuse right. for the troll, right? Because the, assum- yeah, the assumption is like the bear was doing this and he was shot and not, like the troll never existed. Yeah. So whenever we'd seen, I mean, this is only like the second time, but when we saw like the bear tracks before in a body, it was really a troll and they're just covering it up. With bears. Yeah. They're from your or they're from Russia. Okay. And that's what they were saying is that bear is actually a Russian bear, it would never be in these woods. You'd he's like, it's the, fine. It's a bear. You'd think the government would figure that out, right? Like, well, no, that's what he was saying. He's like, this is this bear's not here, and they're like, oh. it's fine. It's a oh, bear. Okay, 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 okay. Like the wildlife guy, he's like, this is this bear doesn't even it doesn't even live here. 
He's like, they won't and, even know. And, they and they're even. like, whatever. Is your, did that oh, you got your researcher guys? now? Well, no, I asked her why she was, because we were just talking about why it seems like all Europeans have their wedding ring on their right hand, but like America. How are you supposed to do it? My wedding ring does not fit on my left hand, on my right hand. Like, well, yeah, well you'd, get you'd get it resized. And then it wouldn't fit on my left hand. Oh, okay. But I, not like a specific thing. All right, Maria's claiming it's Orthodox, which could be why when we got married in the Greek Orthodox Church, I was supposed to hold up my right hand to, for them to put my ring on. Yeah. But I wanted my ring on the left hand and like, I didn't know that I was supposed to hold up my right hand. And so they ended up putting on like the wrong finger, <laughs> but like he couldn't get it on. So he just got it on as far as he could. It's supposed to be like the third linger finger from the left or whatever. And so he still did it without like correcting me. And I was like, well, that's odd. And then Marie explained it to me. I was like, Oh, so I was the jackass that screwed that <laughs> up. This dude's so Norwegian with his sweater. Yeah. Here you go. Here's a little lower building. Yeah. Mountain and woodland. Ringle. Ring. Who's a lad? Rinful, sir. Okay. Scare other trolls. I don't know why, but whenever I see something protuberance from the head, I just, I think we even mentioned on the last podcast, or I did, Quinn was at Tomorrow where the guy strapped the dildo to his forehead and was running around. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking, too. That was a big protuberance. Again, it's all about fetish films right now. I was saying, you just bring up dildos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jeez. what a document. They got there you troll go, bro. form here. Slade troll form. Yeah, has anybody asked whether these trolls know whether the average speed of an African versus European swallow, if they know the difference? <laughs> what? I don't know word. that. <laughs> <laughs> it might work. What? Is your favorite color? <laughs> I gotta watch that movie again. I think it's on Netflix. <laughs> I, th I think so too. I think it is. It's been a minute. It was like the funniest movie when you were in middle school. Oh, oh it yeah. really was. I That's why I haven't them. seen it probably since middle school. And I'm just wondering if it holds up to this day or not. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> I love when they use movie titles in the action movie. <laughs> yeah, I started, I'm always like, oh, oh, they did it. That's the, where it came from. <laughs> it's the Leo meme from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I liked it before <laughs> Leo turned into me. Yeah, I've been. Have they also? Oh, go just for saying, it. we're on the realm of uh, trolls potentially have they tried to pay the toll so they could get to the boy's soul yet his soul or his hole no, again quinn that's you bringing up fetish films now <laughs> it's my turn we were going around the circle <laughs> like we went around yeah the circle it's just yeah who can make the next fetish so all right
The only thing about that is, like, if they smell like a troll, wouldn't a troll be like, wait a minute, there's another troll around? Because you don't really see in this movie, as far as I can remember, like, multiple trolls. Like, they're not herd pack. I feel like yeah, I don't. More like, uh, stay the fuck out of my territory type of thing. Oh, this guy's living large. <laughs> All the crap you can squeeze out of a troll. All right, college students, you are now involved in troll hunting. You're now, you went from film students to conservation biologists. Try and figure out how these trolls don't eat all the other wild animals in the <laughs> local area. <laughs> oh, there's the German people. Say, so if you just hear killed by a bear from now on, you're troll, troll, troll. troll. <laughs> Finn Hagen. Just what was it a grizzly troll or a Kodiak troll at this point? <laughs> yeah. Woodland or uh, coastal bear? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, mountainous bear. What do you see? Like, ten feet up. <laughs> look, he's like ten extra feet in the air, yeah. <laughs> trying to look over all these trees that are still thirty feet taller than where he is. Don't judge the process. You've never been <laughs> troll hunting. I feel like this guy's gotten more clean cut as this movie has gone on. Like he went from looking in- extremely disheveled to like looking like, oh, this dude looks like an average like ornithologist just searching for birds with binoculars. <laughs> well, maybe he finally realizes that he's going to dump his shit on these kids and he doesn't have to do it anymore. <laughs> he's yeah. like, yeah. He's like, all right, I'm going to pass the baton off here. Yeah. <laughs> I still, she's just carrying that boom mic like a fucking champ. Yeah, that, the dude in the blue with the duct tape never jacket give up has your done job. nothing physical yet except run. He's got, <laughs> he's got bit. Not he's, he's the guy in front of the camera. He doesn't supposed to do anything. He could still be the nice guy carrying the boom mic once in a while when they're it's going to not from his a job, Bo. Hey, classic bear oh, trap I need right that there. bear trap. <laughs> Concrete and charcoal. <laughs> An unbeatable combination. <laughs> Those are the, like the two most com- – like Concrete and charcoal I have in abundance here. <laughs> so they just Are live the life trolls, of a Matt? suburban dad. <laughs> just concrete and charcoal. My house is apparently a hot spot for trolls, though. I mean, I got I, we grill out all the time. I got like two, three bags of charcoal. The, you are the standard tossle lad. <laughs> What a genius. A bunch of so this is the only thing is oh, why are these, you didn't think they were gonna bring in global warming. Al Gore is like yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> dude, this I'm is sure Norway. he made it that far into this movie. Right, this there you is go. Norway. They're like what the United States is gonna be in a hundred years in progressivism. <laughs> oh bridges. Yes. <laughs> Calm yourself down a little bit, Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> you know where you trolls live. Body. Wait, dude, where's the troll? They gotta pay the toll. <laughs> I just thought from Not an engineer standpoint, bears. I thought you maybe get you're getting a little chubby there, but that's more birch, I think, than you, Quinn. What's that? Like just getting a good old chubby from uh just seeing a bridge. I'm <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> Birch doesn't even do like that, that is, anymore. I feel like that is Birch, and he's the one that's like not really even as much of an engineer anymore. Like he went into yeah, like an engineering true. sales role. He's gone completely the opposite route of engineering. I don't blame him. His last company sounded terrible. Yeah. He got to go to Mexico, so. 
That was his last. Oh, for his last come. Yeah, he got to go to Monterrey, Mexico. <laughs> North Central Mexico, I guess, is nice for a little bit. Just uh, it's not like he's hanging out in Playa del Carmen. Whoa. There you go. That's how you get a blood sample. <laughs> yep. Yes. This is actually a modern day COVID-19 That's how you take the COVID test, test kit. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this part is, is awesome. Straight out of Jurassic Park. Yeah, this is <laughs> Yeah, this is a Jurassic Park right here. Should that be a theme of this? Is how can we link a movie to Jurassic Park? Because we've done it last week. I feel like <laughs> Velocipaster. Like, oh yeah, everything has been with uh, Yoshi one. last week. Come on, Steven, last put two us movies on. were dinosaur movies. <laughs> but yeah, let's do. Okay, well this one is easy too. Boom, Jurassic Park. <laughs> There's a second Jurassic World that came out, right? Or is it in the making? No, the second one came out. They're making a third one. I thought the first one was horrible. Jurassic World? The, the, so the first one that had, uh, what's his face in it? Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't call it horrible, but I would call it very overrated. Like it was, it's like a top 10 grossing movie of all time. And it's yeah. like, it's fine. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't say horrible. I should just say like, it was like. I don't need to watch it again. No, I don't. And I didn't I didn't like the next one, Fallen Kingdom. That's right. Um, I that name now. Haley liked it more than I did. I didn't. I was like, this is the same Haley thing. also likes disaster movies, so I questioned she, her. That's like her favorite genre. Yeah, I question her <laughs> judgment. She, disaster she, movies? Yeah, like I, one of her favorite movies of all time is Day After Tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> What the hell? It's what is Jake, wrong with her? <laughs> it's Jake Gyllenhaal's worst movie. <laughs> My uh-huh. favorite is when South Park did the spoof on it, right? <laughs> yeah, that was such a good episode. Whoa. South Park, I mean, they, they do a spoof on everything, and it's always amazing. It's always amazing. Oh, Whoa. there's your Ringo right. Witch. Beating the shit out of that. Yeah, South Park's starting to get to that point of The Simpsons where it's like, Simpsons, everybody says, Simpsons South did it. it, South Park's getting to the point. Well, they, they always, made, remember they made an episode about that? The Simpsons did it? South Park made an episode. It's I think been a I remember, while. but I can't remember what it was about. It had um, Butters as, uh, what was his alter ego? Uh, the, that's a movie. Chaos. The superhero villain? Chaos. Yeah. Professor Chaos. Yeah. Here you go. Some... Oh, the South Park movie? No. I wasn't going to say that. Basketball. Oh. That's, that's a movie a... that could really fit into this premise. That would fit yeah, right the, into this. The, I haven't seen that <laughs> since high school. Can this we dude, acknowledge like, that this Skyrim. dude is wearing like a suit of armor really quick? Yeah. Wait, watch. This is one of the dudes that they're actually with, too, right? I think he's the Han. main guy, right? This is it's Hans. Hard. Is it? Yeah. He's trying to get a blood sample. Cal. We never see Cal. I think, he's the main guy, I think. I think he's the guy in the blue. No, yeah, no, that's guy. Thomas. I thought that was Thomas. Oh, that is Thomas, I think. I think, okay, no, so Thomas is Thomas the guy that's behind the Cal camera. Cal is behind the video. He's the guy okay. filming. Oh, I thought it was like a woman's name. I thought it was her name. What's what's the woman's name? They haven't said her name, I don't think. Oh, shit. Here we go. Like, that's pretty good CGI. Especially Whoa, he like just budget. beat the fuck out of that guy. You could definitely tell they played up the benefit of being in black and white or grayscale that they well, and behind behind a bridge. Yeah, but That's, you kind of have to. No, I think like I said it was the first one like it's they're doing it right. They're doing it mostly at night in shadows so you don't see right. the shitty graphics. But like so they look pretty you good. Kind of have to. Gives a goosebumps feel. I don't know why. I don't even Dude, know he almost got his he got his head bitten. Yeah, he did. He was wearing a helmet though. He's probably fine. He looks fine. Yeah, he's, he's just a classic. Him a 
Everybody knows medieval mar- armor was like it's impenetrable troll. to troll bites. So yeah, that's, that's what I use in Skyrim all the time. It never yeah, exactly. See, it's fine. But you're he's, right. Ka- he's got to be like sixty. Your Cal is someone else. The woman's name is Joanna. So yeah, we okay. haven't seen. Yeah, Cal. Cal's behind the camera. Careful with that red button. Don't touch the red button. There's a Men in Black connection if we want to do that one too. <laughs> We're just gonna have sound bites of every fucking movie. <laughs> yep. He's just, just gonna go down there. Hell yeah, go for it. Yeah, good. You just didn't almost break your spine and femur. He's, he's like the armor worked. Let's go. This is that moment where he's like, "What is it? that movie that wasn't it Suicide Squad?" Where he's like, oh, "Is that su- I don't know. I've never, never even, seen it. Shitty don't movie. Want to. I've seen it. I've yeah, seen so it. So it's bad. But isn't there that badass moment? Is that the movie where he's like, "I'm not stuck in here and with inside here with you. You're stuck inside here with me." Oh. I'm, Oh, I know that line. Don't know what it's from. Is it not Suicide Squad? I don't think so. Because I've seen that. Something just exploded in this movie. He pressed the red button. So now we know that trolls also explode. (laughs) Yeah. Right? Sorry, I was trying to figure out what that movie came I, from. I think it is Suicide I feel like it's uh, the the fire, Diablo. What is it, it Bo? I'm, I'm Googling it on my phone quick. Well, too better. I don't know why. I should use my computer. It's right in front of me. So why did the troll explode? Like they put he different pressed the blood? red button. It was just an explosive. Oh, it was light. Okay, that's how I got. It's from Watchmen. I mean, not that I've they're even similar. That. Oh, but... Rorschach. Rorschach says yes. it in Watchmen. Yes. Yeah. I've never it's, seen that either. I that's... haven't seen either, and I just lumped in like some superheroes. Or no, like, yeah, yeah. Actually, I've heard the Watchmen's really good together. Well, yeah, here is my nerd out moment. Hold on. Okay, I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, are you taking your right pants off or something? What was that? Are you? Is he taking his pants off? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> ha, joke's on you. I haven't been wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I, have the, I actually have the Watchmen comic. Oh, nice. That doesn't surprise me. There's a word for that. It's called the uh, nerd. That's fine. Thank you, Bo. No, I'm just right. I've been, It's not I've nerdy. I've been getting really into Dark Souls, so I'm. Awesome. I know. Steering I'll never call. The- I'll never call anybody a nerd for enjoying something in life. In a fashion that I don't. <laughs> hey, he's got a kid, so. Who? <laughs> True. You. Yeah, on the, on the way. So, had sex. What's up? At least once in my <laughs> life. <laughs> One time. <laughs> Are we sure it's not a test tube, baby? We don't know yet. <laughs> oh, here's some more lore for you. Calcifies. They explain why they turn into stone. You had a you have a degree in biology, right, Bo? Is the science check out on this? <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. As you can tell, in a typical situation, I mean, uh, they speak about calcification. So, like, when you get right. hit, like a bruise and calcify, that's I mean, that's the same well, thing. Well, it's it's very known that trolls love milk, and therefore they have high bone density, <laughs> susceptible to. Bone coagulation. Google that term. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere in some scientific article. <laughs> <laughs> the instant UV rays. <laughs> Boom. Explosion. That's Ooh. just how it works. I'm glad you're laying oh, stone now. <laughs> Calcifying to stone. And then potential explosion maybe in another situation. It's a good thing you're laying stone now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're a, you're a great hardscaper. <laughs> This guy just went from don't talk to me to I don't give a shit. Yeah, he's spilling all the beans. Yeah, he went in real quick. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. They don't even pay me enough. <laughs> this is a shitty job. Release sample to everybody you know. Just get it out there. This is the Snowden moment for troll hunting. <laughs> it's like, eh, don't fuck it. <laughs> Maybe I'll be exiled. Maybe I'll. Oh, here you Maybe go. Maybe I'll be suicided. Foreshadowing. The Jotnar. I'm the only one that's seen one. If I pronounce that right or wrong, I don't know. Did you get the whole thing about it? The global warming. They're trying to figure out why trolls are moving, coming down. Yeah, I, I saw. Like he said earlier that more and more trolls are leaving their territory and they brought up global warming. So yeah. he's got like a map out, like he's kind of got their territories mapped out. Yeah. To be fair, I think it's a good thing then that Norway is not necessarily on a mainland continent. Unless there's like a sudden whale troll that shows up, but <laughs> well, how else are they going to, they're just going to swim across like, Dude, do I, need I don't to know what you're talking me? about. It's connected to Russia. Is Norway? I was just gonna say, should I go look at a map? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Norway is not an island. No, I don't think it's an it's island. Fun. I think it's connected to other things, but I didn't think it was connected to. Oh yeah, fuck it is. Norway, Sweden. Yeah, but it's connected Finland, at the top of Norway. Russia, not the south. It might be. I don't know if there's a land bridge down to Denmark or not. Are we trying to debate on Denmark whether it's like doesn't it's okay it. if trolls take over Norway and we'll just let that be like the troll nation and leave it alone? I'm for yeah, it. I think so. We could also just volunteer to ship them to a different nation and be like, you know, we don't really like this place in general, like Kansas. You said different. I don't nation. think they're even going to chill in. Kansas. Well, I changed my mind mid sentence. I was going. Yeah, with you this. did. Let's, let's ship these off to a different nation. Oh, how about Kansas in the middle of the fucking United States? That's fine. We build a big fence. One of those Jurassic build Park. Wall, man. Again, Jurassic Park there built go. one You're of those electric they, Jurassic hey, Park here, fences over pregnant. the top. Matt, gestation period, 10 to 15 years. They're mammals. Okay. They're mammals. Did they say earlier that they were like an experiment of the government? No, 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 no. Okay. No. Masterson, I feel like the last couple of movies you've watched, aka just like the last one, there was conspiracies about it. I think this is just them trying to hide it up. Yeah, trying to hide, keep them quiet. Right. Oh, so like all these rocks are trolls? No, no, no. This just shows that they come here to fight and they throw rocks at each other. So he's checking to see if they're all in the same spot. Or uh, like middle ground. Yeah. Okay. It's basically fight island for trolls. Fight island. <laughs> basically. Dana White takes a cut. Yeah. No, this guy Hans takes a cut. He just forces him in here and <laughs> really makes you appreciate Norway and God we live in a, such a shitty state why don't we live in a place like this stuff to look at wait what I want to look at mountains bro that's what I'm trying to say oh I thought you were saying Norway looked shitty no Norway looks amazing why do we live in such a shitty state 
I mean, Wisconsin's not the most ugly state. There well, no, like, there's definitely worse. Yeah. Yes, way worse. I'd say the majority are worse. Actually, you should see my backyard now. We can see the hills across the lake. Well, yeah, you were the one that decided I was gonna. Li- you were gonna live like in the just far enough outside the city to not be close to a city, and yet be blocked by nothing but trees. Hey, those trees don't stand a chance, bro. They're already getting taken out. You should see our view. We actually can see across the lake now to the the hills. Really? Like over to Devil's Head and stuff. That's and, nice. And we're working on getting that lake view. It's close. <laughs> you could sell the house and be like, we're a lake house. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear boats now in the summer. You can <laughs> hear, hear boats, boats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fancy weather charts and satellite images. <laughs> like this is the shit. Like, how do you keep this quiet? Where like this farmer could have easily seen a troll, and then it's public. He dies. <laughs> See, there you go. How can it be that no one comes and sees these trolls come across the field? Boom. They got an answer for everything. They do. I feel like the, I mean, and nothing's really happened since the bridge troll. And I feel like the end, you see a bunch. They just start ramping up. I know the ending, the last like scene I can remember in this movie, but I don't. I feel like I. There's one like... scene. There's two. There's at least three more incidences. Hey, why don't you spoil it to Matt? Right now? <laughs> I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm just saying I feel like the action gets ramped up here. When it disappoints Matt, it's his fault. <laughs> Saying. I mean, Bo I know who to blame. I know Bo, who to blame. Bo did recommend this movie, so. I recommended it to you. You re- recommended it to this podcast. I did not recommend it. This, to this section. I recommended this Tremors. No, you said Troll Hunters or Tremors, and then you said <laughs> Troll Hunters. To me, like, so I'm the hunters. one who brought it up last week, but it was only because Quinn brought it up, like, a month ago. Fine, it's my fault. Don't it's, defend. I mean, it's no one's fault. I'm just saying. Like, this has been good. It's no one's fault we're watching this. This is better than Super Mario Brothers so far. <laughs> it was better than Super Mario Brothers with the opening sequence. <laughs> Which yeah, didn't I didn't mention it yet, but I got a lot of shit for like how much we shat on that movie. <laughs> People like <laughs> this is a cult classic. Or, oh my god. I gosh. watch this with my kids now and it's amazing. Like what? Or, they didn't say amazing, but like and it's good. I enjoyed it. I'm like you are just being ironic right now or like you're doing this on purpose. Have that, they heard of Disney or Pixar? Because I'm sure there's some other yeah, there's wonderful one. movies that they could watch with their children. This is why we're just guests on your podcast, so that you just take the brunt of all of it, and then Twin and I will just say shit that pisses people off. <laughs> Dude, I love how he just keeps doing random shit, and you're like, "Wait, where did that come from? <laughs> why did you, you just blew? blow a horn? Oh you no, it's like a, a flute. it's like, like a turkey call. Yeah, almost. <laughs> <It's a troll laughs> yeah, call. Sounds exactly like it. <laughs> Classic turkey call. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey there's Cal we get to see Cal my god I gotta turn on my fan I swear to god I'm gonna sweat this out do you guys not have AC running I'm oh, in, we long, do. We I'm in do, long pants and I have a blanket over me it's like 60 degrees in our basement I don't, I'm not in my basement in fact I don't have a basement oh 
poor people, Matt. Hey, if you have, I mean, you have a basement, right? Or no? Fuck no, you, Quinn. <laughs> oh, okay. Fuck you, Quinn. You bought a house in the middle of goddamn Wisconsin. Of course, it was going to cost you nothing. Hey, we live right near a lake. You could almost see it. You just got to cut a couple more trees down, and then you can just, see the lake. Just 200 more acres of trees, and I will see that lake. <laughs> A whole pack of trolls. Oh, they do go in packs. Good practical effects. Oh, yeah. I love practical effects. Huge practical effect guy. <laughs> Big practical effects fan. Yep. Two thumbs up to those. Huge fan. Uh oh. Let's go deeper into the cave. No, they're try they're walking back out. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, here comes the pack. Oh, these are kind of smaller, huh? Oh. Smaller is a relative term. Yes. No. Yeah. I mean, still larger than a human, I'm sure. But they do. I, I really, you know, usually found footage films kind of suck. Some of them are just awful. But this does a great job of not having that stupid shaky cam the whole time so you have no idea what's going on. Like you get a really good sense of what is going on. You can see what's going on. They do a good job of building suspense. <laughs> oh, there you go, Cal. We keep rubbing that Notice how, uh, troll piss on you. Some little trolls. Yeah, that's little. what I was. That's what I was saying. But oh, I'm sure they're still oh, large. No, no, I was just saying. I'm sure they're still larger than a human. But yeah, like they're relatively yeah smaller. Oh, sitting on top. <laughs> that's what he did. <laughs> did he just fart? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this seemed like a good idea right about now. Why not? It's just... Good thing she's got that boom mic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is instantly asleep. Cal is sweating like a motherfucker. Oh my god, I cannot get comfortable right now. I'm just like... I feel like Maria's pregnancy is rubbing off on me. Well, that, I was just moving around. I was just going to say, I'm not like, I wouldn't <laughs> complain because Haley complains about that all the time and she has another human growing inside yeah, of right. her. So, <laughs> hands is out. Oh, I forgot about this. Just letting it rip. Could you imagine though? I mean, I guess I don't really know. It's got to be similar to like an elephant, but like the amount of gas released from a, an animal like that has got to be so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's got to just be awful. It'd be you horrible. Just, just think of it, going by like a dead skunk on the road or squirrel or, or an animal or something. Did you see they're now trying to take a conscious effort oh, in developing? Oh, Christian. Yeah, Cal's, oh, yeah that's right. Cal's the one who believes in God. Of course, fucking Cal. 
Yeah. I love the he messaging in this movie. He's, he's the fuck up for believing in God. Notice how that they all of a sudden started showing him the last two minutes. Yeah. Uh oh. What a schnoz on those guys, though, for Boom. real. Boom! Run faster, Cal. Love the shotgun style, like UV ray. Damn, I gotta that. get one of those. Uh oh. Oh, he got picked up. See you, Cal. Catch the camera. Nope. Did not catch the camera. Nope. That is school property, too, I'm sure. That's not going to get off too late with that. <laughs> I just, I just, I want to know if this was like a, I don't know if you did the research for this, Matt, but was this like a Christian hit piece movie? No, I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Stupid I didn't Christians. It, it, it definitely feels that way right now, but I didn't really look into this too much just because I hadn't seen it yet. Uh, you just got watched your friend get eaten by a troll. That's a fact. That certainly happened. Ah, uh, here it's been. Oh, wow, Jesus Christ. I just try to search up what the most atheist country in the world is to try and back up the statement I made earlier. <laughs> and there's literally five different inde- like indices, different groups that have their own version of like what is anti-religion, what is... Oh, no, that's not right. I still don't know. What the hell? Are we, we're back where we started with that. Well, that's it. Okay, it just doesn't. I'm not gonna worry about. It. I'm gonna keep watching the movie. I'll see if I can figure this out later because it's not making any sense. What's coming up? new camera. Oh, they have a new camera woman? Uh, I forgot about this. They got this person very quickly. (laughs) That's such a weird... Like, obviously, we know why he's asking that, but it's just... You're you're not Christian, right? see what happens. I honestly don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're her, you're going, okay, um, really focusing on my religion here. I love how they're like hardened troll hunters now. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's still got the duct tape on his jacket. Like how much time has passed? Just a couple days? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. oh it's been like, with a, like a week, maybe. I like how they've kept the consistency, though. Like, he's worn the duct tape jacket. It got ripped. It didn't, like, happen to disappear throughout <laughs> the filming. But, like, you know how people always screw that up. The yeah, the continuity errors. Yeah. 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 Oh, the yeah. Death machine. <laughs> yeah. That Max Troll hey, Hunter. That would work in Death Race pretty well. That's what I was going to say. We just talked about this last one. This is literally <laughs> a Death Race vehicle of this show. 
What does he have on the top of that car? Or was that his light? Uh, uh, I, I, it's his light. I would assume it's his lighting kit, but I just can't make assumptions, I guess. This movie. <laughs> Oh, they swore. <laughs> Has run through here. It's literally like a. Inc- they had to call like the DNR of Norway and be like, "What places got deforested recently? <laughs> like a ton of trees." Before they just take all the trees out, let us film one five second clip. <laughs> The landscape shots in this movie are fantastic. Yeah, I mean, like you said, like I assume they filmed in Norway. Yeah, they did. There's. Oh, look at that! That's kind of cool. But the like cables are like an electrical yep. fence. Yeah. Let's go visit the clowns in charge of the power grid. <laughs> The guys that are actually using as like a defense system against trolls. Not that they know <laughs> they it. They don't but... know though. He just said yeah, they, they don't, don't know. know, but like he still calls them clowns. Like... Yeah. Low blow there, man. This guy looks like a clown. Don't you think you would want people who know about trolls working at this power plant? So if something happens, they could warn people? That guy doesn't even play along once. (laughs) Yeah. No, I'm not. I guess the theory is that it's still trying to be hidden up in any form. <laughs> Didn't they say that Jotner was the biggest one? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's like the. the- 200 said, feet like tall. 200 yeah. feet or something. Yeah. That truck is ridiculously suited up right now. <laughs> It's a Justin There's... truck. <laughs> What'd you say? It's it's a truck that Justin would have. Totally yeah, unnecessary. Right. And he would drive it in downtown Chicago. Yeah. It's a truck that's twice as expensive for twice the things that you're never gonna use. He's the type of guy that have a Jeep with a snorkel on it in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it looks awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or you know, the Tyler maneuver. Let's the only car I can drive. Well, I live in the state of Wisconsin is a a uh, rear wheel drive muscle car. <laughs> Real smart. <laughs> <laughs> Look cool for six months of the year. <laughs> I'd say let maybe even less than <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Not this year. The snow in May. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to Hans. This is a shitty job. It's not great. 
I mean, be cool for like a week until you realize you could die and if, pay something. If, if you think about all the people in the world that might have a job similar to this in other countries too, like, uh, I don't know, maybe there is like a professional hippo remover in Africa in certain areas or like, or like a lion killer. Yeah. That yeah. seems still easier than a troll. <laughs> like, this seems like yeah. on a next level, <laughs> next level difficulty that you should be getting paid a lot more money than you probably is. <laughs> I think it's you, Matt. Yeah. Because your your voice gets weird. It was like the sound was really loud from your TV, and then your voice sounded really distorted when you tried to speak. Okay. So I think it was coming from you. Again, that's Quinn's life right there. <laughs> I'm just digging in. Sorry. Sorry. Are you saying I'm Hans or Tom? I said Amber. I didn't even say – this is like getting worse and worse. said Amber instead of April? Yes. That's funny. I don't even know. the subtitles at the same time of talking. <laughs> This just proves that men cannot multitask. I say, this whole multitasking thing is really hard. I've fully admitted already that I'm very, very bad at speaking and listening. And then on top of that, like reading. Reading. <laughs> yeah, it's all going to be a disaster. Uh-oh. Oh man, birds flying away. You know there's trouble. If I remember correctly, this gets pretty crazy. Yeah, the end was definitely goofy from what I remember. Not goofy in a bad way, but pretty epic. Right. Have these people slept at all for like two weeks or however long they've been doing this? I don't think Doesn't so. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> oh, there's already covered up. I remember now. The a death machine old. is out and about. <laughs> he sounds a bit too big, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, shit. Sounds a bit too big. <laughs> that's No, that's too easy. I'm not going to go for that. Too easy of a joke. I love how Hans just keeps doing random shit that he's never done the rest of the movie, and they're like, uh, where would this come from? We all have to ask the question, who else in this group is Christian right now? Oh, obviously all of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, they had rabies. That you didn't think trolls could get rabies. No, that's there's something out of left field. I, going into the movie of Troll Hunter, I did not think rabies was going to be brought up. It's a little known common fact that trolls and raccoons are closely related and highly affected by rabies. <laughs> bats as well. Ooh, careful with bats right now. Not oh, Thomas has got rabies. Doesn't rabies, I guess I don't know how long rabies has to set in, but doesn't it when it's set in and it acts so fast that it's like, it's over? Yeah, it's like, pretty bad. You either have to get the shot 
basically in the first couple days or you're done. Like it's kill rate is, I think it's kill rate is, kill rate is such a horrible way to put it, but it's lethal rate. Let's go with that. Lethal sounds more scientific. Lethal rate is like the worst. Yeah. Or the most, I don't want to say successful, but. Yeah, that's exactly I, only, <laughs> I only know that because of Scrubs. The oh, TV, yeah. TV show that. Sure. They had rabies on that show? Yeah, my yeah, roommate that's one of the, Scrubs. That's one of the like higher rated episodes is like they have four patients. Oh, and, shit. Oh, I saw that in the background. But yeah, they have like four patients that got different organs from the same person and then they all die at the same time because they didn't know that the donor had rabies. That seems like a huge mishap. On well, the- it was it was explained in the episode, but basically, all the people who na- needed the organs mm-hmm. needed them ASAP, or they're going to die anyways. So they made the call to take the organs without checking, like properly oh. back checking everything. Oh, here comes the Jotner. That's a big boy. I keep this is going to sound terrible. I keep thinking their tails are just giant dicks. It did. I actually was just looking at that. I was like, that looks like a weird skinny <laughs> ear. Like a weird, like a... long, skinny ear. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, damn, dude, that troll's dick is hitting the floor, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and yet it looks like it would just wisp in the wind. <laughs> but yeah. it's still like, it does not look like a tail when he's walking because it doesn't no. have a whole lot of like tail fluidity. Like... <laughs> That's a, it's so funny because I was no joke thinking the same thing in that last shot. There you go. The side shot. So, yeah, better. this is yeah. way better. <laughs> better angle there. Unless we don't know the anatomy of a troll and that still <laughs> yeah, their tails be. are their dicks. We don't know. <laughs> the big boy. So this is like the how do they say it the Jotner Jotner yeah the Jotner yeah get him get him Hans you need to tan up bitch I just I love that there's so many villains in anything TV show movie comic book book history that are just susceptible to just. Turn on the lights. <laughs> yeah. Like, no Sunlight. wonder. Could that be because most things are head. written by white people and we're really susceptible to sun? <laughs> there was a uh, a badass line in, uh, like, shit, what was the Max Payne game for, I don't I know which Max one it was. Max what was Payne. that? I love the Max Payne games. The yeah. guy says in one moment, I don't know if it was stolen from a movie or if there's another version of it, but he said something like, it was, and this is a horrible rendition of it. It's not going to make sense in the same way. <laughs> Can we way. go to the hospital now? <laughs> but they say something like, I'm not scared of the dark because of monsters. The monsters should be, or something like, the monsters can't scare, or can't see me, so they should be scared of me in the dark. Or something like that. It was. I'm sure that line is pretty badass. If let's say, it, right. it was better written and better said. But I want to sit there and fumble with my words already more than I was. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the potential of a really badass line. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. I like it. The thought process was great. The execution <laughs> was horrible. <laughs> yeah. Is this some random person? It's Jason from Friday the 13th. <laughs> Jason I mean Hoberman. I thought maybe you guys thought I said meant Jason Hoberman. <laughs> yeah, that's what I first thought. <laughs> yeah, Jason Jason Hoberman just showing up hunting trolls. You know what? I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if he told me he did that. I'd be like, that's up your alley, Jason. All right. <laughs> but yeah, Friday the Thirteenth and Get Troll em. Hunter. That's the crossover we all need. This guy is extremely nimble for how old he is. Hey, man, he's been doing this for years. He's got to have a fractured back after getting smacked by that one troll. (laughs) 
<laughs> getting bitten. Like, you'd think his head would be. Oh! Up. Oh! These are pretty cool shots. So this is somewhat not Jurassic Park, but the second one. They drive through all the dinosaurs oh. and they're stepping around them. I better get a freaking A on this project. That's what I'd be thinking if I was Thomas. Well, I mean, Thomas is going to die. He's got rabies. Wait a second. Do they all get A's because Cal died? He he didn't. Yeah, he did die, right? Yeah, he he did. He got got eaten. The sound design in this movie is pretty good. It sounds really cool. Especially on the surround sound. <laughs> Dude, what does he keep putting in his backpack that he has to take everywhere? Nothing. He never pulls anything out. The finishing blow. Dude, how loud is it that over this entire countryside you have to cover your ears? Uh, right. He is 200 feet tall. It's pretty loud on the surround sound. sound. Really annoying. Even through my speakers, I can just imagine in person. <laughs> <laughs> This dude's just mad. He doesn't know the difference between an African and a European swallow. <laughs> Bringing that He's back, real huh? pissed off about it. <laughs> Get him. I know what I want for my birthday. Whoa. What kind of weapon is that? Why didn't they do that first? Well, they had to get him, hit him a couple times. Slow him down. Yeah, have you ever played a, played a video game in your life, Matt? You gotta do, do the killing gotta, blow last. You gotta yes. weaken him you, a little bit, right? You gotta work him up a little bit. This really go at him with a couple basic maneuvers, and then you just drop the. Yeah, Hans is gonna have one hell of a retirement party. That was final, final boss shit. Where'd he go? How was Thomas not dead yet? Dead, yeah. Uh, he hasn't died probably because you wrote the fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie. That's why he's not dead yet. <laughs> he probably is just like, uh, I wrote this, so I'm not going to die. I'm going to get bit in the first five minutes of the movie. And he found the I'm one surviving other... the whole fucking thing. Yeah, he found the one other dude that was good in film school with him and was like, hey, you're going to shoot this with me real quick, but I'm going to kill you off at some point, just so you know. Where are you going to run? Oh, she finally dropped the boom mic. <laughs> Never a good sign when you drop the boom mic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, lady, but you just got your F in... Uh... Your sound design yeah. class. You dropped the number one rule. You never <laughs> drop the. That's number rule one in boom mic school. Are they like running after Hans or something? Yeah, it's like, Finn. It's Finn. Finn. No, Finn and the government guys are chasing yeah. them because they have the footage.
It's very spooky. It's been impossible. TSS, to get I, I wonder what that was. It really... <laughs> Troll security service kind of just depressed and shit. Ridiculous. <laughs> Norwegians are pro electricity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right there you go that's troll hunters troll hunter well there were multiple of them there were there were wait are you saying they made a second one no, no, you just said there's oh, more okay. than one troll in the movie. Oh, okay. And people hunting them. All right. I need to turn this off. <laughs> <laughs>